Hi, it's Mega Mouse from Muff Wiggler, and I wanted to explain the maths from Make Noise. This is one of the modules that you see online a lot, used a lot in videos and used a lot in people's setups, but not a lot of explanation other than the manuals which are available online. I like to call this thing a function generator because it can do just about anything that you want to, albeit oscillation, modulation, slope generator, uh, direct current offset, attenue version. You have channel 1, channel 4. Those are both identical other than the fact that one of them has an end of rise and one of them has an end of cycle trigger. You can engage these channels with the buttons right here to get very simple positive or negative only LFO type functions. So as you can see it can be activated to create a positive voltage in either logarithmic, linear, or exponential, basically changing the slope of the curve. As I said, channel 4 can be used very similarly. If I add voltage for my Vilfo to the rise or fall, it will make the rise or fall longer. As you might have noticed, it can be both positive and negative affected. The both provides a similar function in that it will affect both the parameters at once. Channel 2 and 3 can be used as either a DC offset generator or as an attenuverter. So first of all, as a DC offset. Same thing on the other side. Or as I said, an attenuverter. I'm going to use my Vilfo. Just got that from Pittsburgh Modular. And I'm just sending it through the simple triangle wave outputs. Not only can you use channels 1 and 2 as LFO type functions, but you can also use them as a simple AD envelope. I like to inbreed my maths as taught to me by Surachai, so I'm using it as a very simple AD envelope, which can also be inverted. What a lot of people get confused is how to use the sum and the or functions. The sum and or are just a combination of all the channels. We're going to use the sum first, which is literally what it, I just said before, a culmination of all the channels. 
So we're here in channel four. I can add positive or negative voltages from channels two and three. Or I can add another function, which leads to some pretty wild stuff. The OR functions a little differently, as it is logic OR out, so it will only produce positive voltages. And in this case, it will take only the pot most positive voltage. One thing to note about summing and the OR function. If you plug into the first jack on either the channel 1 or channel 4 on the maths or directly into the attenuverters, you will remove the signal from either the sum, actually both the sum and the OR. Removing the signal. As I've said before, the, the only difference between channels 1 and channel 4 is the fact that the trigger is at end of rise or end of cycle. So once I patch this into the trigger of channel 4, it will start every time it hits the top of the rise and starts falling. Similarly, once this hits the end of cycle, it will trigger our channel 1. The final thing which a lot of people don't realize, or at least I didn't realize at first, is that this can be used as a slew generator. I'm going to do some patching real quick to make myself a little sequence. Now that we have a sequence running, we can now change the rise and the fall of the incoming signal. I hope this video has explained some of the basic functions of the maths. Now I will leave you with the arcade trill patch directly from the manual. Thanks again, this was CCDM, Mega Mouse on Muff Wiggler, and I hope you now understand your maths.